what about the the literally the software you know, the 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 intelligence and the machines that will actually make sure that our trains are running on time that uh, we're avoiding accidents everything is is safe we the, the system is self reporting uh, pot potential problem areas and and so on what will that look like uh, well most likely if you have uh, had the opportunity to see the railways, the subway systems in Japan, we will have uh, something very comparable, if not uh, one generation uh, more advanced. Okay. Uh, because the current generation of lines, uh, most of the lines in Japan uh, are currently being upgraded. So we are going to have those uh, same systems. So everything from the signaling, which is uh, critical to safety, our passenger information display systems, are also at the core of the planning process. And uh, I mean, from a customer user convenience okay. standpoint, uh, for example, we have platform screen doors at all stations. All stations will be fully air conditioned. Our escalators and elevators are designed to be sufficient mm. to accommodate the volume of people that we expect to use our stations. So all of these uh, considerations of uh, customer convenience have factored into our and design process. In the same way that the, the, the Railways Institute will, will be used to level up the manpower of all rail systems, the standard of uh, of the software and the operations of the subway will then be applied to all other uh, rails because then you'll have. I mean, what what people can also imagine being how disjointed the experience is between LRT um, and MRT, and for that matter, buses and all other transport systems. People can now imagine, okay, I can expect a pretty modern subway mm. line, but as soon as I step out of there and uh, transfer to MRT, magbabago ba yung experience? Well, what we're trying to do uh, for the existing systems, uh, we're trying to uh, upgrade the uh, condition of the system and consequently the customer experience as well. MRT3. Yes, for but example, can, but, uh, but uh, I mean, as you said, there's a regulatory uh, function here. Will you be compelling uh, MRT management, LRT management to, cer to, to, to meet a certain level as well uh, by the time the subway system is in place? That's one of the things that we are working on. Uh, as you may have seen, for example, in LRT1, mm. the lines that we have under an operations concession are under very uh, defined and uh, monitored and enforced operating uh, parameters, operating standards. So as we expand our system and as we learn from our early experiences in LRT1 on uh, which aspects to measure, which aspects to enforce on, we are also uh, intending to uh, roll that out on a broader level across the entire uh, network of railway lines that we will be having. Okay.